All right, crew, here is the real meat of your project. Okay, you are going to either take an existing organism, so take something like a squirrel, and show how it would evolve in the future. Okay, so to do that, you're going to show how the environment changes and how differential survival causes the population to change in the future. Or you're going to take an existing organism and show how it became the organism that it is today, right? So project option one is uh, taking some of your excitement from last week of like showing change in an organism. Um, and then project number two is probably a little bit more straightforward, right? You're finding evidence that scientists have already found. In option one, you are going to creatively evolve something into the future. So if you want to take a squirrel and make it have pink fur, you'll figure out how you need to take a squirrel and make it have pink fur. So let's say um, project option two is a little bit more like looking at the whales. It, I showed you how um, it became the organism it is today. Like scientists have looked at it. They've already found the evidence. This one is the one I'm going to do. Um, or I'm going to show you here in this example, right? Um, so on slide 12, it says, first, you're going to describe the organism's original environment before the evolution, at least one transitional environment, and then the final environment that shows the current or future um, form of your organism, right? So original environment, we're talking about squirrels live in green trees. In the transitional environment, stressed trees tend to have reddish leaves throughout year. Also, um, squirrel predators become very vicious. Okay, so that's the transitional environment. Then the final environment is trees have reddish to pinkish leaves ah, all year and squirrels are constantly hiding from super squirrel predators right so the environment has changed um the original environment to the final environment here um which organisms survived so in the original environment, gray squirrels, black squirrels, and white squirrels all survive. In the transitional environment, squirrels that are better able to survive, um, or are better able to, excuse me, to hide, survive. So the brownish squirrels. Then in the final environment, red and pink squirrels are best able to survive in the red trees. Okay. So here I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about which organism survived. So describing the variation present in each environment and which members of the population survive to reproduction, right? So I know that in the gray squirrel population, there are gray squirrels, black squirrels, and, oh, excuse me, white squirrels. Who survived to reproduce? All of them. Why did they survive? Not difficult to hide from predators. Blah, blah blah right now i'm going to talk in the transitional environment what is the variation well now brown squirrels have been added so there was some sort of genetic mutation um, that allowed brown squirrels to survive um, and they were able to survive to reproduce because now with the predators right they were better able to hide so now i'm going to describe the final environment and um, what is the evidence that scientists in the future might find to show that this happened?